This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. talking to uh, you guys about my setup the other day um, specifically I kind of was readjusting this guitar to have a slightly higher action this one actually has nines on it my buddy Chris Elphick uh, who you saw in the Yamaha Pacifica video rewired in a different neck pickup because the other one stopped working and he only had nines so I've remembered now that this has nines on it and I was speaking to my bread bin David Beebe and we were kind of discussing for legato and stuff that we actually prefer the feel of slightly heavier strings so we typically i think use 10s i used to use 11s before the string company that i um started to use uh, or endorse or whatever um pitbull strings i don't use them anymore they didn't go up to 11s so i moved down to 10s and i think 10s are actually a fairly happy medium uh this has nines which i just want to discuss what I don't particularly love about nines um, and then open up the discussion about whether trying something lighter might be worthwhile for you or heavier or, or what. The obvious benefit of lighter strings is that you can play with a lighter touch and I can particularly recall watching some Rick Graham uh, videos a long time ago where he was talking about um, when we play guitar we often play with a touch that is too real kind of heavy. And one of the things that he suggested trying was to experience, you know, going between a note that was not quite fretted and a note that was fretted and notice kind of the amount of pressure that you actually need to sound a note. Um, and, you know, Jack Gardner is one of the players that actually I think shows this quite well. I was watching a, a little live clip of him playing Little Wing. And I think part of what helps folks maybe sound like they're playing with more clarity is that they're not necessarily picking everything super hard. I, I find myself, I'm a little bit aggressive sometimes. You see that kind of attack with the right hand. But anyway, so the, the thing that does happen with nines is that you, yes, don't need as heavy a touch to play. And the downside with that is that if you're used to playing with slightly heavier strings, too much downward pressure can give you like uh, intonation issues, you know, as you're pulling the note sharp. 
And in this direction as well, the, the string is slightly less stable. The advantage is that kind of bendy things uh, become a little bit easier and I guess calling you're gonna need less pressure overall as well because on average note takes that little bit less energy so over the the course of a gig you're going to have slightly less tired feeling arms so if i was uh, a guy who bent a lot trying to do i might favor nines or even eights if you want to go really wild I never actually got there for that. But I do feel like with this extra tension, my playing in general is a bit more stable particularly the right hand picking for the kind of digging in. Feels like there's kind of more headroom on the strings where you could pick a bit harder. And the string's not kind of flapping about as much. So you feel like you can dig in a bit more. less kind of likelihood of me pushing the note sharp because I'm having to push really hard there to get that legato stuff you know that kind of action of hammering on is where you really want some of that stability particularly if you're kind of focusing the pull-offs can uh, yeah but just be confident 
that there's going to be a bit more. But I think we should probably take the ego out of it because players like Sean Lane, apparently, and Alan Holdsworth, users of eight strings, and it's not like they weren't incredible guitarists. So I think you should use what feels comfortable to your hand, and it's maybe worth experimenting. Like if you've been a long time 11s user like I was, I dropped it down to 10s for, you know, because I couldn't get 11s in that brand, but I've actually found that settling on that, probably my hand gets less of the aches going on. I did used to get aches from maybe 11s and maybe playing piano in the left hand. Um, and if you're finding 10s give you those aches and stuff like that, there's no reason not to give 9s a try. I think there's a Rhett Scholl video um, with Rick Beato where they're talking about using different strings of different lightnesses, especially I guess as you get slightly older, maybe this is a, a time where you can think, right, let's, you know, think about lightening up the tension. Uh, for me at this stage, the tension can be quite a good thing to sort of add a little bit of fight to the guitar so that it kind of keeps you in check a bit. But as time goes on, I'm considering, you know, maybe I will go for nines. I'm going to maybe try and get some eights on a guitar just to see what that's like. I don't find that I play any faster with nines or anything like that. The only thing that changes for me really is the kind of tuning stability. So there's kind of negative trade-offs in many cases and I don't bend loads so that's why for me at the moment sticking with tens makes sense. Let me know your thoughts. I also use Daddario's generally. I have a load of 11s left over from Daddario so I, I do still put them on uh, a Telecaster which has a slightly thinner neck. Uh, that's another aspect I guess like a thicker neck maybe you can get away with putting on some lighter strings whereas a, a thinner neck kind of suits heavier strings for me personally trade-offs 